Leslie Caron, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, has left an imprint on the lives of many. Whether through on-screen performances or the memories created, Karen has impacted audiences across generations. Can you recall a moment when her work inspired or influenced your life? Perhaps you hold a cherished memory associated with the iconic actor that still resonates. Share your personal experiences in the comments below. Funny, shocking, or even poignant, we want to hear your stories about this classic Hollywood star. Stay tuned as we delve into some interesting and emotional facts about Leslie Karen. Keep watching for more and feel free to share your own anecdotes. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to her? We would love to hear from you in the comments below. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into Leslie Karen's life and career. There are many more surprising facts to come. Keep watching! Born in boulogne sur seine France on July 1, 1931, Leslie Karen embarked on her entertainment journey from a middle-class family. Her father, a chemist, and her mother, an American dancer, provided a stable backdrop during the challenging times of World War II. Finding solace in dance, she commenced her training at the age of 11. Despite the wartime adversities, Karen's passion for dance remained unwavering. It was at a ballet performance in Paris that she caught the eye of the legendary MGM producer Gene Kelly. This encounter marked a pivotal moment as Kelly extended an invitation to Hollywood. Karen made her film debut in the 1951 musical An American in Paris. The success of her debut paved the way for a remarkable career marked by delicate beauty and exceptional dancing skills. Iconic roles in films such as Jiggy and Lily showcased her ability to infuse emotion into performances, captivating audiences worldwide. Facing personal challenges and navigating a shifting Hollywood landscape, Karen adapted to the evolving industry. Dedication to her craft and versatility allowed her to seamlessly transition between roles, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen. Throughout her career, Karen navigated the complexities of the entertainment world with grace, earning critical acclaim and numerous award nominations. Her journey from a small French town to the glitz of Hollywood reflects resilience, talent, and a passion that transcends borders. In conclusion, Leslie Karen's early life and background laid the foundation for a career spanning decades, showcasing talent and leaving an enduring legacy in cinematic history. Leslie Karen, the accomplished actress, faced the unrelenting pressure of staying young in an industry fixated on perpetual youth. Born in 1931, she entered the limelight in the post-war era, a time when societal norms began evolving rapidly. The film industry, in particular, emphasized the youthful image, imposing a constant challenge on actresses like her. Karen's journey unfolded against a backdrop of societal expectations. The pressure to maintain a youthful appearance in Hollywood was, and continues to be, a formidable adversary. The scrutiny she faced extended beyond her acting abilities, impacting her personal life as well. Striving to conform to these expectations, Karen navigated a path where image often overshadowed with talent. Amidst this struggle, Karen demonstrated resilience. Her ability to adapt and remain relevant in an ever-changing industry spoke volumes about her tenacity. The dichotomy between the demand for eternal youth and the inevitability of aging created a poignant narrative, one that resonated with many facing similar challenges. Beyond the facade of glamour, Karen encountered other significant struggles. Personal relationships and the constant scrutiny of the media added layers of complexity to her journey. Navigating the intricate web of public expectations while preserving a sense of self proved to be a formidable task. In the midst of these challenges, Leslie Karen's career endured. Her contributions to the cinematic landscape, though influenced by societal pressures, reflected a nuanced portrayal of characters. The struggles she faced became an integral part of her narrative, shaping the roles she undertook and the choices she made. In conclusion, Leslie Karen's journey was a testament to the complexities within the entertainment industry. The pressure to stay young alongside other significant struggles formed a compelling narrative that transcended the silver screen. Her story serves as a reflection of the broader challenges faced by individuals in the public eye, navigating a delicate balance between personal authenticity and external expectations. For Peter Hall's 30th birthday, Leslie Karen surprised him with a straightforward gift, a Rolls Royce. The grand gesture marked a notable moment in their relationship. 
Later on, she and her daughter, Jennifer Karen Hall, shared the screen in the Love Boat episodes, The Christmas Cruise Part 1 and The Christmas Cruise Part 2. In these episodes, they portrayed a mother-daughter duo, both con artists adept at fleecing millionaires. Karen's marital journey took interesting turns. Her first marriage to musician and meat-packing heir Jordy Hormel lasted only three years. Following this, she entered into a second marriage with renowned stage director Peter Hall. Unfortunately, this union also ended in divorce with Warren Beatty, her co-star in Promise Her Anything, being named as a co-respondent. The London court not only dissolved the marriage, but also ordered Beatty to cover the court costs. These events in her life, marked by lavish gifts, shared acting experiences with her daughter, and the complexities of two marriages provide a glimpse into the private aspects of her journey. Renowned for her impressive career, Leslie Caron received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6153 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on December 8, 29. This recognition marked a significant milestone in her journey. In the mid-90s, she was romantically linked to actor Robert Wolders, recognized for his roles in Lairdo and his companionship with Audrey Hepburn. Five years his senior, Caron shared a brief connection with Wolders between 1995 and 1996. At the age of 25, she became a mother for the first time, giving birth to her son Christopher Hall on March 30, 1957. The child's father was her second ex-husband, Peter Hall. This moment added another dimension to her life, bringing the responsibilities of motherhood into her multifaceted journey. These instances, from the Hollywood Walk of Fame recognition to her connection with Robert Wolders and the birth of her son, provide a glimpse into Karen's diverse life experiences. Each event contributes to the tapestry of her personal and professional life, showcasing a woman who navigated the complexities of relationships and motherhood. Leslie Caron, a prominent figure in Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the film industry through involvement in acclaimed productions. Noteworthy roles in two Best Picture Academy Award winners and American in Paris and Gigi showcased her versatility. Two other films, Fanny and Chocolat, also received Best Picture nominations. Recognition from the Library of Congress further emphasized the cultural and historical significance of an American in Paris and Gigi, both included in the National Film Registry. Demonstrating dedication to her craft, Karen resumed work just three months after giving birth to her son Christopher Hall, undertaking the filming of Gigi. This exemplifies commitment to the demanding schedule that accompanied her profession. Cinematic achievements from roles in award-winning films to Library of Congress recognition underscore Karen's lasting impact on the industry. Instances like these reveal the depth of her career and the challenges she willingly embraced, contributing to the narrative of a woman navigating the demands of both motherhood and a successful acting career. In 2021, Leslie Karen earned the distinction of being the earliest surviving nominee for the Best Actress Oscar a nomination she received in 1953 for her role in Lily. Following the passing of Olivia de Havilland in 2020, Karen stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of early cinema figures. Among the 13 French actresses recognized by the Academy Awards, her nomination aligns with a lineage that includes Claudette Colbert, Colette Marchand, Simone Sinort, Analk Amy, Isabella Janney, Marie-Christine Barrault, Catherine Deneuve, Juliette Binoche, Marion Codia, Baroness Bajot, Emmanuel Riva, and Isabelle Huppert, spanning a significant period of cinematic history. Beyond her contributions to the film industry, Karen also delved into the hospitality landscape. Operating an inn named La Lucarne Aux Chouettes in villeneuve sur yonne located about 100 km south of Paris, she engaged in a different facet of life. The inn, translated as the Owl's Nest, changed hands in 2010, marking the conclusion of her venture into the world of hospitality. Her journey unfolds through milestones in cinema and ventures outside the limelight, revealing a person whose impact spans various realms. These facets of her life, from the early Hollywood recognition to her French cinema legacy and brief foray into the innkeeping business, weave together to present a comprehensive picture of Leslie Caron's unique journey. In her pursuit of artistic expression, Leslie Caron conveyed her desire to design her own costumes for Daddy Long Legs to Fred Astaire. However, Astaire, recalling a mishap with Ginger Rogers' gown and top hat, humorously cautioned against using feathers. 
This incident, reminiscent of Rogers shedding dress in a dance scene, was playfully recreated in Easter Parade, where Astaire danced with a comical partner portrayed by Judy Garland. Notably, Karen stands among the select few actresses who shared the dance floor with both Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly in movies. This distinction aligns her with a small group, including Judy Garland, Sid Sherry's, Vera Ellen, Debbie Reynolds, Rita Hayworth, and Ann Miller, who also experienced the unique privilege of dancing alongside both legendary performers. Her prowess as a dancer had already caught the attention of Gene Kelly and his wife, Betsy Blair, back in 1948 during a Roland Petit ballet based on the theme of Oedipus. Despite their desire to meet her after the show, Leslie left promptly like a good girl, leaving a lasting impression on those who recognized her talent. This aspect of her career, marked by encounters with iconic dancers and the recognition of her dancing abilities, adds another layer to her journey in the world of entertainment. It's a testament to Leslie Karen's versatility and impact, showcasing a woman who seamlessly moved between different spheres of the film industry. Leslie Karen's journey in Hollywood unfolded through a series of intriguing events. On Peter Hall's 30th birthday, she presented him with a Rolls Royce, marking a significant moment in their relationship. This grand gesture set the stage for their later collaboration in the Love Boat episodes, where they portrayed a mother-daughter duo skilled in con artistry. Her marital journey took unexpected turns, with her first marriage to Geordie Hormel lasting a mere three years. The second marriage to stage director Peter Hall ended in divorce, with Warren Beatty named as a co-respondent. Despite the complexities, her life was punctuated by moments like receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2009 and her connection with actor Robert Wolders in the mid-90s. Motherhood became a pivotal aspect of her life when she gave birth to her son, Christopher Hall, at the age of 25. This added another layer to her multifaceted journey, where she seamlessly balanced the responsibilities of parenthood with a thriving acting career. Her commitment to the craft was evident when she resumed work just three months after giving birth, filming for Jiggy. Her impact on the film industry extended beyond personal life. Noteworthy roles and Best Picture winners like An American in Paris and Gigi showcased her versatility. Recognition from the Library of Congress further emphasized the cultural significance of these films. In 2021, she earned the distinction of being the earliest surviving nominee for the Best Actress Oscar, a nod she received in 1953 for her role in Lily. Outside of Hollywood, she ventured into the hospitality landscape, operating an inn named La Lucorne Aux Chowets. This venture added another dimension to her diverse life experiences. Additionally, her dance prowess marked her as one of the select few actresses who shared the dance floor with both Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly, showcasing versatility in the entertainment industry. Leslie Karen's journey, marked by significant life events and achievements, weaves together a comprehensive picture of a woman who navigated the complexities of relationships, motherhood, and a successful acting career. Each chapter contributes to her enduring legacy in the annals of Hollywood history.